I'm Nicola from the Orange Veterinary Hospital. Today we're going to give you a few tips about taking your pets to cafes. So first of all, making sure that the cafe that you want to take your pet to is pet friendly. Second, I would do some training um, before taking your pet out to a new place where there's lots of new smells, lots of people and lots of things going on. Um, so doing some training with getting your pet to sit, stay and then practicing that at home whilst you might be having a meal as well. Um, that way when you do want to take your pet out, they're nice and relaxed, um, they've already got that training on board, uh, so then when you go out and about it's not a, a new thing for them to be doing. Um, thirdly, I would take your pet out for a nice long walk um, before taking them to a cafe. That way they're not going to be full of energy um, when you're trying to get them to sit nice and still. Uh, fourth point, um, bringing a small mat um, so your pet can be comfortable um, and they know where you'd like them to sit and stay. Finding a uh, corner where you can place your pet so that they're not going to get uh, tangled up with other people or with waitresses and, and waiters walking past. And another, another tip would be uh, picking a time of day where it's not super busy. So maybe avoiding the Saturday morning rush for your pet's first outing. That way there's not so many people around and your pet might be more relaxed uh, for their first experience. And also remembering to read your dog. So if you're noticing some that they might be a little bit stressed or they might be uncomfortable uh, knowing when it's the right time to leave. Um, so we want to make it a really fun and positive experience so if our pets start to look a little bit stressed um, then we might leave the visit a little bit earlier than we might have been intending to. Um, that way um, each time we take uh, our pet out it's really fun for them and it's a nice positive experience.